What's going on YouTube? Alright, Supplement Sundays. A new segment we're going to try out. Um, I have a ton of supplement samples. I have like a bag full of them. Just from um, Jacked in a Box, from Bodybuilding.com whenever I order, Tiger Fitness, and from all the expos I've been to, I've accumulated a ton. I figure I should probably start blowing through them um, before they go bad, if they ever go bad. And I'm going to pass on my results to you so you can figure out uh, if it's something worth putting your money into. I just want to start off saying I'm not affiliated with any supplement company. Um, I mean, that's not my decision. <laughs> I'd love to be sponsored, but this is a total non-biased review. Um, nobody's giving me any money. No one's giving me these to make me do this. Uh, I got them for free, and you know, they're just sample packs. First up is going to be White Heat. Redline White Heat Ultimate Energy Rush from VPX. This was uh, it's just strawberry flavor. Strawberry is not something you see too much um, flavor wise, usually fruit punch, so that is interesting to try. White Flood. Taste? Not bad. Honestly, I've never had a strawberry flavor before. It's interesting. As far as ingredients go, um, proprietary blend, naturally. Um, really the only ingredient that sticks out is the caffeine, 400 milligrams. There's uh, some Yohimbi in here, but other than that, it's mainly just a caffeine supplement. 400 is a lot, I think. That's like uh, two monsters, and it's, it's a good amount. Um, I will say this, I felt very awake. I, uh, on the way to the gym, all of a sudden, I felt alert, awake, but as far as hyped up and pumped goes, uh, there was no pump from it, just because it was really caffeine and Yohimbi, and I wasn't like hyped to lift or anything, I was just really awake, so it didn't uh, help so much with my lift, I guess you could say. Um, would I buy this? Probably not. It would just be cheaper to buy a caffeine supplement as well as Yohimbi separately, um, if you don't really care about flavor, if you do, they have flavor powders all over grocery stores. So, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you like it, you know, that's you. This is just my personal experience. Next up is Super Pump 3.0 from Gaspar Nutrition. The ultimate pre-workout intensity muscle builder. It promises pumps, strength, power, and endurance. I mean, that's pretty much, what else do you need? <laughs> Um, 4 grams of BCAAs, 3.2 grams beta alanine, 1.5 grams of inositol arginine silicate, that would be for pump I assume, and 1 gram of agmatine sulfate. Pretty good. What I really liked about this is it has a full 5 grams of creatine in it, which is not something you see too much. Normally, in a pre-workout, um, they boast, oh, cre pure creatine on the outside, but really it's like a gram, which um, suboptimal effects. All right, it's got an amino fuel complex in here with the beta alanine for those tingles. If you like that, um, beta alanine. For those of you who don't know, it's more of an endurance supplement, but it's well known for its uh, tingly effect it gives you. It's definitely something fun to try. It's got three different proprietary blends, and the flavor on this: strawberry kiwi blast. I really love this flavor. Um, I don't have a clip of me tasting it, I forgot to film that. But this was probably the best tasting pre-workout I've ever had. It tasted like uh, strawberries and cream almost. I, I'll probably just buy this just to drink it because I like the flavor. <laughs> but in the gym, um, I did notice I was pretty hyped up to lift. I, I got an, uh, an excellent pump from this actually. Um, overall, this was a pretty good supplement. After reading some poor reviews online, I actually personally really like this. Next up we have No Bowl and it was the fruit punch flavor. Fully expected to turn me into Kai Green. Fruit punch flavor? Not bad. Tastes like fruit punch. Fruit punch is pretty basic though. Not impressed. Nothing crazy. but. I'll do. Well, unfortunately, this did not turn me into Kai Green. Um, I actually, you know, it wasn't bad. 
Uh, it promises increases muscle force, velocity and endurance, increases blood flow and muscle pumps, increases anabolic signaling to activate muscle growth. What I don't like about this container is it says gain up to 8.8 .8 pounds of muscle and 147% more strength. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're basing that on. Uh, it says nowhere on here what that's based upon. It's mighty specific. Some study, I'm sure, but I wouldn't uh, expect too much in that sense. While I was, you know, pretty hyped up and I got a decent pump, um, I was actually looking very vascular. Forearms had some uh, BBC action going on. All right, and the final supplement for this week is going to be Blocks by BPI Sports. Um, this is silk string amino acids. It's not your branch chain amino acids. Um, promises energy and performance, endurance and recovery, strength and muscle. Well, I guess those are the things that helps. Um, refreshing amino acid drink mix. It's a peach tree, peach tea flavor from a peach tree. Um, your silk string amino acids, in case you don't know, um, I don't know, <laughs> um, are L-alanine, L-serine, L-valine, L-theronine, actually that's it. Um, I really think this is more of a gimmicky product, and the peach tea flavor certainly was not a, a, a gym vibey flavor to drink. It, uh, didn't taste right in the gym, you know? You're working out, is peach tea really what you want? For your punch, maybe. Uh, peach tea, uh, not so much, not for me. It did taste good, though, when I tasted it before I went to the gym, and after. <sighs> um, so string amino acids for me are a little gimmicky because they haven't really been shown to help performance, like branch chain amino acids. We know a lot about branch chain amino acids. Numerous studies have been done. Um, they've been proven to work. So I would stick with what's proven to work and not uh, something new and exciting. All right, that's like uh, super creatine nitrate sulfate. All right, they, they keep trying to reinvent old products um, to make them sexy again and uh, tack on an extra price tag. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll try to have some protein maybe next week. Uh, mix it up. Sorry I did a lot of pre-workout, but some of the stuff is kind of eh, hard to fit into my macros. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching.